Hey everyone, this is Edwin and today we are back in the studio. So today I'm going to show you my 10 favorite shortcuts for FL Studio. So I've been producing, producing for 10 years and over the years I've been using many, many different shortcuts to try to improve my workflow in FL Studio. So I'm going to share with you guys my 10 most useful shortcuts so that you can improve your workflow and so that you can make your tracks faster and so that you can put your ideas into FL Studio as seamlessly as possible. Shortcut number one. It's actually three shortcuts, F5, F6, and F9. It allows you to switch between the playlist, the step sequencer, and the mixer. These are like the three main windows you have in FL Studio. First of all, when you open FL Studio, you have the step sequencer coming right in front of you, and you can add your instruments, add your notes, and make some noise melodies. Then when you want to work a little bit on the structure, structure of your track, you can press F5 and go to the playlist, use your different patterns and arrange everything in the playlist with F5. And then when you want to mix everything, when you want to do some mixing, you press F9. So F9 and then go back to the melodies, press F6, tweak the melodies, stack the layers, then press F9, add some reverb, then press F5 to draw the automation clips. So these three shortcuts are so useful, you need to use them everywhere, otherwise it's just painful, painful juicer. Shortcut number two. I couldn't find the second flute, sorry. I know you guys want to see me play some music. The P key, letter P. It's a pencil tool meant for pencil users. You can draw notes very easily in the piano roll with this. Shortcut number three is the B key. Also the letter B, it allows you to paint notes and to draw your notes. You're on the piano roll. You press B and then you keep clicking. It draws notes until you stop. If you never stop, it will never stop drawing notes. It will be perfect to make chords. Shortcut number four, the E key. E allows you to select notes. When you're in piano roll, you want to move your notes around. So you will press the key E, select your notes and then Press P and move your notes around. You can also use this shortcut in the playlist. Really useful one, useful user. Shortcut number five, shift up and down. When you have selected a few notes in the piano roll with the E, you can move your notes up and down. It's very useful if you want to shift your whole chord progression up or down. Alternatively, you can use the control up or control down keys to move a full octave up or down. Shortcut number six, control Q. Sometimes you record your notes with piano, it's a bit messy, the notes are a bit everywhere in the piano roll, it's not synced perfectly. So all you have to do is to select everything, Control A or Control E and select your notes. And then Control Q allows you to quantize your notes and put them on the grid. Like it's very useful when you know how to play piano but you want your notes to be perfectly aligned with the grid. So if you're a perfect user, Control Q is the shortcut to go. Shortcut number seven, Control G. Also in the piano roll, when you have like a few notes and you just want to make a pad out of your piano chords, which are playing like ta 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 ta, you want only one note. So you select your notes, Ctrl G will glue your notes together. It's beautiful. Shortcut number F12. F12 allows you to close all your plugin windows in your project. It's like the magic button to clean everything. Something I would love to have in real life, honestly. You just press F12, everything is clean. So not only it will free up some space on your screen, it will also free up some RAM. And that's very cool if you have a slow computer. You want to use this one as often as you can because it will just make your computer a bit faster and less likely to crash. Shortcut number nine, Control V. Everyone, everyone. 
does this shortcut and everyone uses this shortcut in every single other program. But did you know that you can use this shortcut in the step sequencer as well? When you have a melody in one of your instruments, one of your step sequencer channels, just press on the little rectangle next to the notes and then Ctrl C and move to the next instrument where you want to paste it and then just Ctrl V. You don't even need to go into the piano roll, just Ctrl V and boom, it's here. <laughs> Shortcut number 10, L. L is very useful, it allows you to switch between the song and the step sequencer. So you're working on loop, then you want to switch to the full song. So you just press L and you're in the playlist. Just press L again, you're back to your loop. It's so useful, I use this all the time. Bonus shortcut, Control S. It's the magic shortcut, it's like the butter on the bread. Like FL Studio is, is the bread, Control S is the butter. Does this make sense? So you have to press Control S to save your project. Like anytime you do a big change or just before you load big fat instruments, you have to press Control S. Especially if you don't pray to FL Studio God. So guys, I hope these shortcuts are useful to you. I hope you can use these shortcuts in your next projects. You can start using them now. Let me know in the comments down below if you have like magic shortcuts that you use all the time in FL Studio that you can't live without. For me, these are the main shortcuts, the, the best shortcuts that allow me to produce faster and make my life easier. You can find all what I said on my blog post on producer by edwan.com so go check it out now i will present to you my latest product i've made together with inside audio please a round of pen flute so this is a mouse pad i've built together with inside audio it's a special edition special five minutes challenge edition which contains all my favorite shortcuts so it will allow you to produce faster because you can find the shortcuts i'm using the most often all the shortcuts i'm using during my five minutes challenges the shortcuts i'm using the most often are highlighted so you guys can find which shortcuts i am using specifically of course you can find all the FL studio shortcuts on this mouse pad so i'm pretty proud of this product i hope you guys like the design of this mouse pad so go check it out the producer mouse pad five minutes challenge edition link in the description below if you want to check it out and if you use the code producer you'll get five percent off so i received this very cool package from greece ak sonis actually sent me a nice package um, if you don't remember, I used their plugin called Regroover Pro. I will leave a link to this video in the description below. Actually, you should have opened this package way earlier. I'm sorry about that. I will try to open the packages a bit more often. So, instead of this... Yeah, it's a pretty nice picture of Luigi and me. Actually, they did a face swap of Luigi and me. It looks pretty nice though. It's a bit creepy though. Oh. A really cool human-friendly audio technology. So let me wear this t-shirt juicer. Looks so nice! There is even a card inside of this. Hello everyone, my favorite producer. This gift is our way to say thank you for reviewing Regroover and Beatformer. Congratulations for what you've achieved and most importantly for mastering the mouth click sound. Nice. We are looking forward to collaborating with you as soon as possible. Best wishes to you and your five cats. P.S. Hope you like your personal poster. Our designer Hara was super excited about it. Uh, and we also have actually a very nice set of stickers. Actually, I'm gonna put this one as a uh, decoration. Thank you, Ekusonis. Thank you, Smaragda, for sending me this cool package. Next up, we got a cool package from Andrew from the USA. So. It's actually an FL Studio pillow. It's so cool. It's the best pillow to make producer dreams. It's actually a handmade pillow and he's selling these pillows so I will leave a link in the description below. It looks really nice and it's pretty soft as well. Hello. Don't forget to pray to FL Studio God. So thank you very much Andrew for sending this cool pillow. If you guys want me to do more unboxings at the end of the videos, let me know. I might do that if you want to send me stuff also 
write me an email. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you didn't yet. And of course, don't forget to pray to FL Studio God.